They found the series on the farm 10 years ago under a pile of scrap metal. They got it back to life and then it was working for 10 or so years around the farm. One day it broke and there was no drive to the front axle anymore because there are not a lot of spare parts for Series 1 here in Namibia and there was not much time to repair it. So in the end Mark asked me to look after it, how to get the front axle back to work Yeah, with the limited amount of spare parts that are either here on the farm or that they can get in Windhoek. The task would be now to disassemble the front axle, check what's broken and then find a solution. There are several scrap cars here, back there is a crashed Series 3, there's an axle lying from a Series 2A and, and then there's another Series 2A over there. I'm sure we will find a solution for it, but it's going to be interesting to modify it and uh, make it work, probably make it a bit stronger so that it will last another 50 years here on the farm. The wheel is spinning, but the shaft is not. Either the shaft is stripped or the drive flange is stripped. That's a bit worn, so ideally I would like to replace that. In here you can clearly see in the front there are teeth and in the back there's nothing. So that's actually the part that's broken but the excessive wear also caused the shaft to wear out. So we need to find a solution as well for the shaft as for this one. Shock absorbers are gone and there's quite a bit of play in those pins that hold the swivel ball. Mark, I think we need new shock absorbers. So much dirt inside because the seal couldn't work with the pins worn out. There's grass inside. One of the bolts is already broken so it looks like we need to carry over more from the old axle 
to get that baby fit again. I could not remove the shaft from this side without having the brake disassembled. Wanted to avoid that, but not possible. it. Now it's time to clean everything. Get all the grass out, the sand and then we are going to inspect the shaft. That's the universal joint is gone. Use diesel to clean everything. That's the wear. You can see that's the original teeth and that's how it's worn out. So really bad. Need to replace that. The ball is not in terrible shape, but I think the bearings need replacing. Due to the fact that it's difficult here to get the shafts or the, the whole assembly, I will try to take a donator axle from a Series 3 and basically rebuild the axle with the front part of a Series 3. As it looks like the front part of the drive shaft is the same and then do the connect it to the series one main shaft. The series one shaft that's in the axle is a little bit shorter because the wheelbase of the series one is shorter than the series two A and the series three appears to be the same. That's from a Series 3, I believe. And that's our Series 1. Except for those bolts, they're different. I split the series 3 half shaft and 2. So I have the outer part that I'm going to reuse and the inner part stays as a spare. And I'm going to do the same one with the series 1 axle and then make a 1 out of 2. That's the new drive shaft. That part is from the series 3. And that's the series one. And I reused the universal joint, I rebuilt it. Um, it doesn't have place, so it should be all right. Now we are going to check the swivel bolts. I would like to put the original back in, but that bushing here is pretty worn out. Um, I was thinking to do a mixture between the Series 3 and the Series 1 um, swivel ball, but I'm not sure. That's why I'm going to search for another set of spare parts and then check what we can reuse and how we can build best an axle that works.
So the plan is not working out because the swivel bolts between the cars are not the same. The movement of the drive shaft is what the wheel would do if I would build it like that. So I need to get the old bolt. It's day two of the rebuild. I talked yesterday in the evening to Mark and we discussed um, strategies, what we are going to do. And he suggested that we should build everything from the x ball to the drive flange to Series 3. I think it works. There's only one um, possible deal breaker and it's the steering arms. That's the Series 3, that's the Series 1, so they're a little bit different. So we will need to see how that goes. But other than that, um, the parts are the same and it should work. I started to rebuild the Series 3 axle. Mark told me that the new bearings and new bushings, I put them in the ball and now the swivel housing is going on and then I need to rebuild the drum brakes. The seat is way too stiff, that's why I need to play now with the shims to get it right so it moves a little bit more freely. I hope we have enough shims to build both sides, but yeah, we need to check. It's still too stiff, I fitted quite a few of shims but it didn't get much better so I will put it in the car. Have it sit for a while, do the other side and then come back to this.
only thing that is still open is the steering rod. In the Series 1 it comes from the top and in the Series 3 it comes from the bottom. I'm going to turn it around but I really hope it doesn't collide with the spring package. It's the only thing that can make us problems. That's it for today and tomorrow I will do the other side but we will not record. Yesterday I spent the whole day rebuilding the left side, took off the Series 1 parts, took out the drive shaft, rebuilt a new split drive shaft between 3 and 1, and then rebuilt the whole Series 3 assembly and put it back on the car. We still need some parts. I told Mark already we need brake lines for the Series 3 because the ones from the series 1 don't fit anymore and we need some like tiny screws and so other than that it worked all well and now it's just the steering relay or however it's called that needs to be replaced and then it should be good to go. The steering relay sits down here and that's what we are going to take out and just throw a new one in. The old steering relay is out. I already fitted the arm to the new one. I'm going to throw it in and then we need to adjust the steering and that's basically it. Problem is the steering arm or the steering bar is touching the springs here. Mark was here on Sunday. We discussed how we go forward with the car. Yeah, he's really happy with the axle. We need some brake lines. Yeah, that's basically it. Right now we need to swap the springs from left to right because um, the clamp position is bad that holds the springs together. They are touching the steering rod. Yeah, we're going to change that and when the brake lines are here the car should be good to go. It's one of those examples of don't try this at home. I had to build new holders for the spring packets because all of them are in terrible state. I don't find nuts that fit to them. So I cut one and uh, did new threads, metric ones now because it's the only tools we have. And the second one, I actually took scrap metal and bended a new one to have two fitting ones. Let me know when. Press. And ah. leave it. Leave it press? No, stop it.
What happened? Uh, one line was not connected. Press. What? Okay, release. Press. Release. Press. Release. I reinforced the door as good as it was possible. It's pretty gone with all the years. I put in chains to support the door because it will break when it uh, lies on the rear bumper. And I manufactured a new bracket here to hold that corner of the car. Like it is here, it was completely broken. Also cleaned the car, especially underneath from all the oil and so, and there are pieces where there is grass growing in the frame. What a reward after a lot of work. The car drives super good, but yeah, it was a long way. <laughs>